Okay, y'all, I want to talk about um, strength in the times of temptation, okay? So in Corinthians um, 9, 10, okay, if you go down into scripture, all right, I want to start right up here. Now, these things became our examples to the intent that we should not lust after evil things as they all, as they also lusted and do not become idolized later idolaters as were some of them and I might have pronounced that word but bear with me as it is written were some of them as it is written the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play nor let us commit sexual immorality as some of them did and in one day 23,000 fell okay nor let us tempt Christ as some of them also tempted and were destroyed by serpents nor complain that some of them also complained were destroyed by the destroyer. Now all things happen to them as examples and they were written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the ages have come. Therefore let him who thinks he stands take heed lest he fall. No temptation has overtaken your except such as in common to man, but God is faithful who will not not allow you to be tempted beyond but you are able but with the temptation will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it therefore my beloved flee from idolatry okay and then as I go further down it says that an idol is anything or what is offered to idols is anything okay it says rather that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to demons and not to God. And I do not want you to have fellowship with demons. Okay, so a lot of people are making covenants with demons. Okay, like I was saying, lust, greed, perversion, um, fornication, um, you know, things of that nature, uh, lust, um, addictions, and things like that. So this goes along when I was doing my readings. You feel what I'm saying? It says, you cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. Okay. It says. You cannot. Hold on. Let me get my book. It says. You cannot partake of the Lord's table. And of the table of demons. Or do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Okay. Are we stronger than he? All things are lawful for me, but not all things are helpful. All things are lawful for me, but not all things edify. Let no one seek his own, but each one the other's well-being. Eat whatever is sold in the meat market, asking no questions for conscience sake. So when I did my reading about genetically modified organisms or GMO, fake meat, and, um, you know, them basically trying to feed the world all lab meat there's videos about how the meat is made in the lab and they add all types of shit in the meat and it's fake it's synthetic so this goes along with that reading okay and how you know we need to be careful what we're eating we need to grow our own plants uh have a farm you feel what i'm saying um get animals chickens and ducks things that we can survive on basically going back to way things used to be when no one was so uh codependent on the govern government you know being more self-sufficient so even the bible says you're not going to have a conscience on questioning what these man-made people are making in a lab you just go to the grocery store without conscience without thinking what was in here what's put in this or not reading it and then you end up ill. But anywho, that's another topic. So it says, eat whatever is sold in the meat market, asking no questions for conscience sake. For the earth is the Lord's and all is all its fullness. If any of those who do not believe invite you to dinner and you desire to go, eat whatever is set before you, asking no question for conscience sake. But if anyone says to you this was offered to idols, do not eat it for the sake of the one who told you and for conscience sake. For the earth is the Lord's and all its fullness. Okay. Conscience. All its fullness. Conscience I say not your own. But that of the other. For why is my liberty judged by another man's conscience. But if I partake with thanks. Why am I evil spoken 
of for the food over which I give thanks. Therefore, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. So whatever you do, do it for the Most High God. Give no offense either to the Jews or to the Greeks or to the church of God. Just as I also please all men in all things, not seeking my own profit, but the profit of many that they may be saved. Okay, so um, what I got out of this is... <clears throat> when it comes to 